warm welcome to our video presenting REACH registration challenges and quick fixes. In this video I will explain what the most common mistakes are and then I'll show you how to fix them. I will refer to a number of links which will be published alongside this video. Let us begin. First and foremost, we suggest that you refer to the available support material, namely the How to Prepare Registration and Pport Dossiers manual and the document Information on Manual Verification at Completeness Check. We also highly recommend you to update your Euclid 6 to the latest version, available on the ECHO website. In addition, if you do not have the physical copy of REACH regulation, you can find it online. In this video, we will concentrate on substance identification, data waivers and adaptations, testing proposals, and specifically the presence of considerations for alternative methods for an animal testing, chemical safety reports, and automatic failures. Inside substance identification, the challenges in creating dossiers are mostly related to the UPAC name, manufacturing process description for UVCP substances, and the justification when deviating from the standard rules for composition. First, we look into the UPAC name of the substance. UPAC name is a requirement for every registration. In case the UPAC nomenclature cannot be applied to your substance, as is often the case with UVCP substances, a chemical name or the name that defines the chemical nature of your substance should be provided in the UPAC name field. For information on how to name multi-constituent and UVCP substances, please consult the Q&A 1197 and Q&A 1196 on the ECHA website. Here we have a screenshot of Euclid section 1.1, where you should provide the UPAC name for your substance. By clicking the arrow icon, you can edit your reference substance, including the UPAC name field. Then we move on to manufacturing process description and justifications when you deviate from the standard rules for composition. Please make use of the template which you can find under the field description in Euclid section 1.2 when reporting your manufacturing process description. After clicking the A icon, a pop-up window will appear and from there you should select option 2 and by clicking insert the template will load into the free text field. Now it is the most crit critical part. You should also fill in all the relevant information of your substance as inserting the template alone will not be considered complete by ECHA. Then concerning mono and multi-constituent and UVCB substances if you deviate from the standard rules for constituents or composition, then a scientifically substantiated reason should be given in the justification for deviations field in Euclid section 1.2. Then we move on to data waivers and adaptations. And this section is relevant for registrants who waive the standard required studies or provide adaptations. If you choose to provide a data waiving or an adaptation in, in accordance with column 2 of REACH Annexes 7 till 10 or Annex 11 respectively, carefully create the endpoints in Euclid 6. The first piece of advice is for registrants waiving a standard required study. To do so, you should insert a scientifically fully substantiated justification in the justification for data waiving field. When clicking the red downward pointing arrow, a pop-up window will appear 
and you can either see is if some of the pick list values apply to your case and if not choose other and provide a scientifically substantiated justification in line with the appropriate reach annex. You can also use the remarks field for additional information. If you wish to further explain your case, you can use the fields justification for type of information and attach justification. Remember that if you use these additional fields, the main argument for the waiving of the standard information has to be in the justification for data waiving field. It is not enough if you refer to some other sections in your dossier. Advice number two, check reach column two of annexes seven to 10 for justifications for data waiving that are foreseen by the regulation. In the screenshot here, column two is highlighted in red. Then how to actually find the information from REACH regulation that is relevant to your case. First, open the how to prepare registration and pport dossiers manual and navigate to annex three of the manual. Then find the study you wish to waive from annex three. In this table, you, feel you will find the corresponding REACH annex and column one number. And with this information, it is easy to navigate to the annex and section of REACH regulation. For example, the specific rules for why a study on explosiveness does not need to be conducted can be found from REACH Annex 7 in section 7.11, column 2. If you wish to provide an adaptation according to Annex 11, section 1, you should insert your results as a key study or weight of evidence. As in this example, we have chosen to provide a QSAR for the long-term sediment toxicity study, and we indicate this in the type of information field. Then, under the adequacy of study field, we will make our selection to be either key study or weight of evidence, as highlighted here in the screenshot. Then, the third part of our video is about testing proposals and considerations for alternative methods. This is relevant for registrants at Annex 9 and 10. For testing proposals, it is important that you demonstrate that you have considered alternative methods for animal testing. This is easily done by using the provided template in the endpoint study record you create in Euclid 6. As shown here in the example, by clicking the A icon, a pop-up window will open and for testing proposal, you should select type experimental study planned slash testing proposal on vertebrate animals and insert the template into the free text field. After this, be sure to fill in the template with your relevant information, since inserting the template alone is not considered complete by ECA. The considerations for alternative methods are highlighted yellow in the screenshot. Then we move on to chemical safety reports, which are relevant for substances manufactured or imported at more than 10 tons per year. If a chemical safety report is not attached, a justification why it is not required should be included in Euclid section 13.1, field a further information on the CSR attached slash remarks or the field discussion, which are highlighted in this screenshot. If you are a member of a joint submission and the lead has provided the chemical safety report on your behalf, remember to indicate this in the dossier header under information provided by the lead registrants on behalf of the members when you create your dossier, as in the example on the screenshot. 
The following part is about automated failures and is relevant for all registrants. Remember to validate your Substance dataset and correct any failures reported in the Submission Checks tab at this level before creating your dossier. Validate also the final dossier before exporting it and address any issues identified. Any failure in the Validation Assistant Submission Checks tab that is left uncorrected will lead to the rejection of your submission. Updating Euclid 6 is recommended to fully benefit from the improvements to Euclid 6 and related amendments to the Validation Assistant. You can download the latest version from ECA website. Remember that you can always contact us via the contact form on the ECA website. For more information on how to prepare registration and people dossiers, refer to the manual by the same name. And to the document information on manual verification at completeness check. I thank you for your attention. This is the end of the video. For current news and information, you can subscribe to our weekly and quarterly newsletters via eka.europa.eu slash subscribe. You can find us on social media as well, in Twitter at eu underscore eka and on Facebook, facebook.com slash eu eka.